So if you've been wondering what are the best anti-aging hormones that you need to stay youthful and ageless, then this is the video for you. Make sure to subscribe so I can actually help you keep your hormones in harmony and optimize your health. And don't forget to click the bell so that you get to be the first to see my new videos. Welcome back to The Hormone Healing Show. Today I'm gonna to show you which hormones you need to keep in balance so you can have that anti-aging effect that you're looking for. Most of my patients ask about human growth hormone. Human growth hormone is produced by the pituitary gland and it is the, the hormone that is most known for anti-aging effects. It is delivered via injection and it is a prescription and it is very, very expensive. Most of the patients wanna start there, but that is not where you start. Let's talk about what aging is first so you can understand why you need to start at the base of your pyramid of health and hormones. First of all, your DNA has long strands at the end called telomerase. And when that telomerase actually starts to disintegrate, you start to age. The other issue with aging is that your mitochondria, those little organelles within your cells that produce energy, they start to produce less and less energy over time and you begin to start aging. So what you wanna do is you wanna start balancing your hormones at the base. Your hypothalamus cannot allow you to make more human growth hormone to start revving up muscle tissue growth, skeletal growth, other tissue growth, because you're gonna grow tumors and things, things that you don't want if you don't get the base of your hormones in balance. So it starts with getting your sex hormones in balance. That is the first step. And here you see at the base of the pyramid of healthy hormones is estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. For females, all three of these hormones. For males, just the testosterone. These hormones, these sex hormones are vital to your anti-aging process. They are actually create that growth effect that allows you to rejuvenate tissue. Estrogen in particular allows you to rejuvenate collagen and elastin to keep your tissues healthy and strong and elastic, meaning no wrinkles. Also, progesterone and testosterone help to enhance energy production from the mitochondria. These three hormones work together in females and testosterone with a little bit of progesterone from the adrenal glands work together in males. It is super important that these hormones are in balance before you move on to human growth hormone. Now you can get these hormones in balance by taking bioidentical hormone replacement therapy, usually in a transdermal form because it's safest for your liver, or you can take supplements that actually stimulate hormone production. And we've talked about that quite a bit in most of my other videos to go further with which supplements actually work with that. So for your sex steroids, you wanna get that balance first. Then you're gonna go on to the middle section of the pyramid. And that is a triad of adrenals, pancreatic function, and thyroid. Your adrenal glands produce a hormone called DHEA that is androgenic and growth stimulating. These growth stimulating hormones actually are needed in order to build muscle and tissue. DHEA is how you metabolize protein and fat, and it has to be in balance with its sister hormone cortisol, or you're going to have more breakdown of tissue, which is what cortisol does, and less buildup of tissue, which is what DHEA does. But it's super responsive to your thyroid hormone production. As you know from some of the other videos that I've created, your thyroid hormone is how you produce energy. It's T3 that tells the mitochondria to actually make the energy. And if you don't have enough T4, you can't convert it into T3 and you're not going to produce as much energy. So it's super important that the adrenals are in balance, your thyroid is in balance, and that your glucose metabolism, your production of insulin compared to how much sugar, blood sugar that you need for energy is available, that you're not insulin resistant. This triad is super important to get into balance before you move into using anti, any anti-aging effect from human growth hormone. DHEA and thyroid hormones are anti-aging hormones, as are the sex hormones, estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. Now the third step is to move into, once you get these balanced, you've got your sex hormones balanced, you've got your adrenals, thyroid, and, and insulin production and glucose levels balanced, then, and only then, can you move into 
stimulating human growth hormone production. You don't need to take injections of human growth hormone, which are very expensive and oftentimes are not covered by insurance unless you have a growth hormone deficiency. You don't need those injections. What you need to do is do a, couple, a few simple things. One is you need to exercise in the morning. Human growth hormone, even if you were taking the injections, will not do you any good if you do not exercise. Not just aerobic exercise, you need weight lifting, weight resistant exercise, and actually to stimulate human growth hormone's effect. Now, human growth hormone is produced at night. So you have got to sleep in the dark and get good deep sleep at night in order for human growth hormone to do its job. And the way you can stimulate human growth hormone naturally is use something called amino acid stacking, starting with arginine. Arginine is the amino acid that stimulates human growth hormone the best. Unfortunately, a lot of people will use this excessively and not give their pituitary gland a break. And if they don't give their pituitary gland a break, it's going to get pooped out and you're not going to be able to get the human growth hormone production from it from amino acid stacking. So I usually prescribe amino acid stacking for three months and then take a one month break to give your pituitary the break that it needs in order to kind of catch up with everything. Now remember your hypothalamus is directing all of your hormones and it needs to know that your estrogen, progesterone and testosterone are in balance that your adrenals, DHEA production, your thyroid T4 and T3 production, and your insulin and glucose levels are in balance before it will stimulate the pituitary gland to make human growth hormone. Even if you're taking amino acid stack, these need to be in balance. So always get your hormones in, in beautiful balance before starting an anti-aging pro program, because otherwise you're gonna grow things you don't want, like tumors or cancer. So now you know what are the best anti-aging hormones, but it's not easy if your other hormones are out of balance. That's why I created the Hormone Review Training for you to discover how to get your hormones balanced naturally. It's free. Just click the link in the description below this video. So what's one hormone healing tip you might try this week? Leave your answer in the comment section below and make sure you sign up for my Hormone Reboot Training. If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next one.